Well, some rugby news where one Desile Simelani will come off the bench to make his almost debut against the Sharks in a United Rugby Championship game tomorrow. The team will also be led out by tight head prop. But Nietlin Fushia, he starts in the front row alongside Joseph Dueba and Ali Fermak, while loose forwards Ivan Ruiz and Marcel Tienesen will pack down on either side of the scrum with number eight Hachiba Daimani. Locks Andre Smith and Ruben van Heeren have retained their spots to continue their partnership in the second row of Lahoff. Yuri Matia makes his first start in the URC with Sasha Feinberg Ngomezulu and Warwick Halant slotting in on inside and full back respectively as part of a new look midfield pairing and back three. The bench features fit again lock Salma Murat who last featured in round one of the competition. Now joining us live from Durban ahead of that much anticipated uh, uh, Coastal Derby's rugby magazine writer Dylan Jack. Dylan, thanks uh, for joining us this evening. How did the captain's run uh, look uh, if you did go out to watch the boys uh, get, 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 get their last uh, head out? Good evening. Yeah, uh, thanks for having me on again. Yeah, um, both teams looking very relaxed. I did indeed go over to Kings Park and watch the captain's runs, and both teams looking very relaxed for this one. Both a mixture of excitement and um, sort of assuredness from both teams. Um, this is a very exciting, obviously a very crucial game for both the Stormers and the Sharks um, going into this one. The Sharks desperate to get their URC campaign, get it lifted off, and the Stormers obviously wanting to retain the um, SA Crown, um, yeah. the SA Shield Trophy, so um, it's, it's crucial for both teams. I think uh, the name that got South African tongues wagging is the fact that Juan de Siles Melani is on the bench, his big move from, 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 from the Bulls. Uh, how's uh, you know, the, the Juan de Siles Melani fever, so to speak? Yeah, the Stormers are really, really excited about him. I mean, Dom, I mentioned him earlier, spoke about him earlier this week, John Dobson, the Stormers coach. Um, he was really, really happy with what he saw from Simulani during the mid-season break. The Stormers have been playing friendlies against the university teams during the mid-season, that three-week break, and uh, I think he scored a hat-trick in one of the games. Um, so he's looking really, really good, looking really fired up, and it's going to be exciting to see what he does in a new environment. Obviously, he... The Bulls move didn't quite work out for him, um, but it's a new team, a new environment for him, so there's plenty to be excited about. Do you see this almost running it with the likes of Feinberg and Gomez Zulu there in the back line and Warwick Halant pulling the strings? Yeah, I mean, it's uh, that, especially that 10, 12, 13 combination, a very youthful combination, but a, again, a very exciting one um, with Yuri Matia, who looked very, very good when he was playing in the Champions Cup opening round against Leicester Tigers. Um, you've got Sasha Feinberg in Gomezulu at 12, um, and he's got all the skill in the world. He can kick very well, um, got a very good anticipation of space, very good vision. And then you've got a very, another great youngster coming through in um, Suleiman Hartzenberg at 13. Very big test for him going up against Lukanyo M, who's obviously Buck 13. So that's going to be a huge um, opportunity as well for Salema to show what he can do. Um, and then uh, you've, they, they've got all the experience around them in Ben Loda on the wing, Warwick Halant at fullback, called the vet at scrum off. So it's, it's an interesting looking Stormers backline. As much as the Stormers have been quite entertaining in terms of throwing the ball around, people don't really see what kind of work that their forwards do up front. Uh, do you reckon that their forwards do have the firepower to tame the Sharks in the Shark Tank? Yeah, I, I, absolutely. I mean, it's a very settled, especially front five, when you look at the likes of Ali for Mark, Joseph Dweber, Nietling for Shea, Andre Smith and Ruben van Heerden. Those five in particular have been playing together for a while now. And then you've also got uh, returning Springbok and Evan Roos coming back um, to bolster that back row. So that's I think they have more than enough firepower. You've got Hachiva Diamani, who's been in the form of his career um, this season, who's been... As who's added to his game this season by showing that he can do it in the trenches. He's not just a, sort of a flashy player who likes to play on the wing. He can get involved in the nitty-gritty. And then you've also got a Marcel Tienis in there who's always been a dependable performer for the Stormers. So um, very, very good and settled Stormers pack. 
The Sharks will be without uh, Yeban Etzebeth, but they welcome uh, Bongi Bonambi back. Uh, do you think the Sharks, in terms of their signings, have done justice uh, to the union? I mean, they haven't really been firing, uh, you know, especially if we look at the catalogue of names that they have. Yeah, it's, it's been a struggle for them. It's good to see um, Sia Masuku on the bench, the fly half that they signed from the Cheetahs. Hasn't got his opportunity yet, but will be getting his opportunity to make his uh, Sharks debut this weekend. So um, great to see him. Big opportunity for him to show what he can do. Um, but yeah, it, it's, a lot of the shark signings haven't quite worked out. There's another shark signing who hasn't really taken off, and Vincent Chutuko is on the bench as well. Hasn't really shown the kind of form that he showed um, at the Lions, but uh, again, this is a big chance for him to um, come off the bench and make, he's on the bench as well, come off the bench and make a big impact. We know what he can do when he's playing his best rugby. Um, we know how much energy and how much force he brings to that pack. Um, so I, I think that it's, it's a good chance for them, um, to those new sort of signings. Even though they haven't quite sort of worked out at this stage, um, they, they need to start firing this weekend because it's, it's a huge one for them. Reckon this break that we've had will work in their favour? You think plumbers uh, can, uh, you know, pull yeah. a, a, a magic something out of the hat? Yeah, yeah, there's, there's absolutely no shortage of confidence from the Sharks, despite the position that they're in on the table. They haven't at all lost faith in Neil Powell or John Plumtree's plan at all. Um, so, and I think that this break would have done them a lot of good. They would have been able to... Um, get a few injured players back, of course, and then reassess the plan and look at what they've been doing right, look at what they've been doing wrong. And I think that Saturday will be a good chance for them to sort of start taking that step in the right direction. I mean, if they get a win on Saturday, that does their confidence and their belief in the plan no end of good. So, yeah, I think that it's going to be a huge one. You reckon we should be a bit more patient with the coaching unit, plumbers and, you know, Joey Mungalo, yeah. who's still a young coach yeah. himself. You reckon it will take a bit of time to, to get things going and gelling? Yeah, yeah, these things always tend to take a lot. Change very quickly in rugby. I mean, last season, Exxon and this season, they're struggling. Um, then you, you know, the Sharks obviously had their struggles at the, have had their struggles at the first half of the season. Um, they didn't have their spring books for a lot of it and they sort of had to do with a very, very young pack and sort of cope with that. But I think that with time, um, Powell and Plumtree's can, plan can eventually come to fruition. I mean, you do need to sometimes allow a bad performance to happen so then the coaches can sort of learn what's going wrong, what's going right. And Oftentimes, it takes one or two seasons for a new coaching staff to sort of settle in. Obviously, Neil Powell was brought in mid-season um, in 2022, and then you've had John Plumtree being brought in um, after Sean Everett's left, and there's just been a lot of change happening with the Sharks coaching staff. So maybe they just need um, this season, even if it goes badly, just to get through it and get their plans across. And next season is the one that they can really kick off and go on. You know? Dylan? Dylan, I know you're stuck in a posh hotel somewhere in Durban, but I want to pick your brain about something here closer to home in Johannesburg, uh, the XK Derby, the Lions and the Bulls. What do you reckon is going to happen there? Yeah, I think it's going to be a really interesting one. I mean, that clash at Loftus was really, really great. was a really great watch. Went down to the wire. Very exciting. You had Johan Kursen hitting over that 50-meter penalty, and then Hendricks, uh, unfortunately, missing that long-range penalty of his own. So, I mean, again, it's going to be one that is going to go right down to the last minute, I think. I think the Lions gave the Bulls an almighty scare. I think the Bulls are going to try and be better, but they've obviously also got one eye on the um, Stormers game at the beginning of March. I mean, Jay Quart's already talking about that Stormers game, already talking about the uh, fact that they haven't beaten the Stormers in eight games. So they need to be careful and not take this eye, their eyes off this Lions team who are more than capable of um, causing an upset. One liner, you reckon the Lions can cause an upset? Yeah, yeah I think they definitely can. I mean, they've, they've got more than enough firepower in that team. That back row that they've got, Henry Sergio, Ron Fenter and Frankie Horn is just ferocious. Uh, I think they're more than capable of causing an upset. Dylan Jack, rugby, SA Rugby Magazine writer, giving us his thoughts ahead of the much-anticipated SA Derby matches in the URC.